27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Well, it's been a blustery one, to say the least, across southern Wisconsin. Winds gusting as high as 25 miles per hour earlier on today. Those winds right now sustained from the north between 5 and 15 miles per hour, making things feel nice and comfortable across the area. In fact, check this out. Dew point values right now in the mid and upper 50s. That's as opposed to the upper 70s and low 80s in spots we had yesterday. Parts of Rock County yesterday saw dew point values above 80 degrees. That's downright brutal. So seeing this today much nicer and just stepping out the door, you can feel the significant difference one cold front can make. And that's certainly why we are seeing those cooler, more comfortable conditions out there. Temperatures cooling off a little bit now as well. We hit a high temperature near 84 degrees earlier on this afternoon. It's now 79 degrees. Winds from the northwest again between 5 to about 15 miles per hour, clocking in right around 9 miles per hour currently in Madison. What can we expect the rest of this evening? More of the same, more of that gorgeous weather within the next hour. Temperatures down to 75 degrees, 72 degrees by 8 o'clock by 9. We're down to around 70. So if you want to go for a stroll, grab a bite to eat, maybe head out to the terrace, anything you can do, make the most of the pleasant weather. And the good news is if you don't get a chance to do that tonight, you have all day tomorrow as well. More pleasant weather on tap for our Thursday. What about tonight early tomorrow morning? Well, a few of these light clouds still sticking around the region as we sleep tonight as temperatures bounce back and forth between the mid to upper 50s for many of us. We'll wake up to a morning low temperature of 58 degrees in Madison early tomorrow. Not too bad. In fact, considering that some of us dealt with feels like temperatures near 110 degrees at times yesterday afternoon, 58 probably feel a bit, a bit on the chilly side. 59 at 7 o'clock by 8 o'clock in the morning. We're 61 just about four hours later. Your lunch hour 71 and sunny in Madison tomorrow. It is going to be flawless tomorrow. Notice more of that cloud cover to the west of us. Pay no attention to the green on your future track. We're going to stay dry for your Thursday. No need to grab that umbrella. That is until Friday. High temperatures reaching those mid 70s on Thursday, 76 on Thursday, Friday right around 75 degrees. Winds will be from the south 5 to 15 miles per hour on Friday, helping to pump in more of that moisture. Now here's what we're dealing with Friday. This is early Friday morning, just showing the uh, pressure system off to the west of us, essentially setting the stage here. Complex of lower pressure generating the threat of severe weather across parts of the Dakotas, parts of Minnesota and Iowa as well. This line of thunderstorm activity, that is the remnants of that severe weather threat that will affect those areas late Thursday night. By the time Friday late morning rolls around, the remnants of that system reaches us like rain showers. That wave of rain rolls on through throughout the late morning, early afternoon, not a complete washout. The best chances for heavy rainfall arrive overnight, Friday night into Saturday. You can see these clusters of showers and storms firing up. This is the cold front from that system I mentioned before. That's going to swing through and that could generate some stronger showers and storms. And as a result, the Storm Prediction Center has placed most of the area under that marginal risk of severe weather. That's late Friday into early Saturday. Now that initial burst of rainfall only bringing about a tenth of an inch of of rain, but it's that secondary line of storms late Friday night and early Saturday. We could start seeing more significant rainfall totals right now. This is just raw model data and just ballpark values, but you can see some of us could again see an additional inch plus of rain by Saturday afternoon. Now, fortunately, our Saturday for the most part looking quite pleasant. 82 year high temperature on Saturday, Sunday reaching 74 degrees, so a little bit cooler, but still a beautiful weekend ahead. It's next Tuesday that I'm still anticipating is the greatest threat of potentially strong to severe storms headed our way over the next several days. But again, considering how active things have been, Amber, I think we'll gladly take a much quieter week, yeah. much like we're seeing on that seven day. Felt so nice out there today. Oh, Tomorrow's beautiful. gonna be Perfect. Tomorrow will be perfect. Yeah. All, you know, borderline cool for some folks. Cool. Yeah. A little, well, listen, it was 110 with the heat index in uh, Janesville yesterday afternoon. So we're 108. Yeah, so 74 and breezy. Your snow pants. A little cool. I, uh, that might be good. <laughs>